My name is Chris White, and the reason why I'm showing you that is uh, it's a great tool for community music because it's accessible or more accessible than a guitar. So um, I've found that um, builders, for example, if their hands are a bit mashed up and they struggle with certain chords, this gives them an opportunity to um, have a bit of a play around, uh, just tune it up to a, a chord and give them a bottle or something and let them play and it's uh yeah it, <laughs> it's a bit noisy sometimes but it's uh yeah it's good fun and they're easy to make so this is a homemade one so we've run workshops um building guitars including things like this um and this thing um it's great if you want to play quiet you just close your mouth um so all that is there's um, a bit of information on um on my crazy love site and how to build one of these you just get a um a high-end driver and then you can use the main speaker or switch to the to the driver and run a pipe into it um, get that Peter Frampton sound um, so I like monkeying around with um, Frankenstein and instruments and fixing instruments and being a, into music since the age of four so I'm just gonna give you a quick kind of background on, on my journey with music and kind of why I think it's uh, important for everyone as far as I'm concerned everyone is we're born musicians I'm not going to go into details but just because my mum was a music teacher and we had a piano in the house and then that enabled me to start playing doesn't mean to say that I've got anything in the gene pool if you put the time in your brain will develop that's basic science I'm afraid and kind of for me uh, after the piano then you know got into trombone thought yeah I didn't really like football so I thought, well, I'll join join the band instead. So um, that created, a, you know, a, a, a massive amount of um, uh, knowledge, and it was competitive as well. And it was community, and I joined the the local brass band on top of the school band. Um, started playing guitar, and just like one thing led to another, and unusual in so far as I play lots of different musical instruments. Always been in bands, so. Um, used to go to uh, places like um, you know Mean Fiddler and Songwriters and the Orange Club and uh, various venues up in London with different bands and some of them were more successful than others. Um, in Medway again, I played you know I was played in bands in Medway. Um, uh, you, you used to find it hard um, with family to sustain you know much. Uh, uh, much work you know professionally it's you know it's not I've not earned a great deal out of um, playing in bands I've always been doing other things um, but that doesn't matter it's just that um, you know to be a top level session musician you have to put a lot of hours in and you know I haven't been able to do that so it's kind of I'm coming from a different angle really I'm more coming from the community development angle really um, just using music as, as a tool to uh, generate opportunities for learning and well-being and so at the minute I'm doing a, a music session a week as part of Men, Men in Shed's been doing that for a while. Um, I trained up um, a few years ago in like teaching but it's very basic, it's level three uh, education training um, sitting guilds that was in community music so that was that opened another window in terms of like oh so that's what it's all about because I never did teaching before um, and that's really that's really useful skill for like community development is learning that that side of things in terms of um, yeah just the the steps to learning and evaluation and so forth um, um, working with Who Cares or volunteering with Who Cares to create a music community out on the peninsula. So there's an appetite there and some support there. It's early days. And, and I'm wanting, if that continues to develop, to go other places uh, in, in and around Medway. There's a group of us in Medway and outside Medway who do jam stages. We take a, uh, or we, get, we get hold of um, a stage and a marquee and we, f we fill it with uh, 
you know, with, with kit basically for people to get involved so the audience participate. We initiate uh, jams with anybody that we can, you know, that, that's going past the, the marquee or that's already inside and we get other people up to, you know, if it's like a big festival, there'll be other people who are, you know, playing it on different stages and, and they'll, they'll be scheduled in and we'll sort of, um, yeah, have a big mashup of, uh, of sound with community and, and other performers. But it's mostly just the, the tu tuition and the one-to-one -one and the people who know, you know, a song and they want to get up or just want to jam. And we keep a back line going for, you know, three days or however long. Um, and yeah, we love it. And there's, uh, there's about 12 of us that we're all sort of, um, you know, CRB checked and we're from that, uh, that kind of background, sort of like a family that just like go out and play music and get more people to join us. If you look at music from a perspective of going, you know, way back to, you know, Pythagoras, you, you didn't have the dots, you know, that you had to learn. Um, all that theory is fantastic in terms of it's stimulating. And yeah, I use that way of teaching. I think that's really important. Particularly earlier on, it's useful for people just to get a grip. But um, there's so many other things that you could do to um, get people fired up and creative and expressing themselves and joining together. Uh, there's lots of ways of doing it. And so, yeah, if you're into already doing that kind of thing, then I want to talk to you. And and because, yeah, the, we, I've got a few friends that are on the same page as me and they're doing the same thing as me and we're taking it out there. Um, and yeah, sometimes it's difficult because of the, you know, the financial side of it. Um, but you don't necessarily have to put a price tag on music. There's, there's, there's ways of getting it out there w without having to sort of go begging, you know, um, and this, there is a lot of support out there as well, definitely a lot of support. Um, so yeah, anyway, talk to me if you're interested in creating more opportunities for community members to get involved and, you know, join together and have fun. <laughs>